All right, in this video, we're going to discuss two functions here in Excel, formula functions, the VLOOKUP function and the MATCH in order to pull data from a table. So here we have our home sheet. We have select agent and select round. And I will show you the raw data that we'll be pulling data from. But we have a drop down data validation list right here. And we have the round here where we can um, so make a selection. And if for any reason you would like to know how to make these kind of a, these kind of drop down lists, please review my data validation video. But I'll show you really quick. I have my data here in the back end for the list. These are the list of names that the person can choose from. But this is on the home sheet. And then the raw data, we want to be able to pull this information. We have the agent names as well as their respective score for rounds one, two, and three. So this is just raw data. What we want to do is give the, the end user the ability to select their name, select the round, and then the, and then the score will be populated right here. So first off, let me introduce you to the VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is pretty much going to, it's going to look for the first value in the first column and it will return whatever column column number you're going to want in, in return. So, I mean, the very first thing that's going to be looking at is going to be the, the first column, which in this case will be the name. Now, if we were to want column two, that's going to be the second column in the table or the third column or the fourth. So first off, VLOOKUP, lookup value, we want to look for the name. So I'm going to go on and select the cell, B4, comma, and now the table array. This is where we're going to want to highlight the table. So I'm actually going to select the raw data sheet, highlight the entire table, not including the, the header. All right, and then comma. The column index number, just for right now, I'm going to set this as 2 which will be the second column of the table, which will be the round one section. But I'm going to put a two right here, comma. And then what kind of uh, range lookup do we want the approximate match or do we want the exact match? In this case, I want the exact match to make sure that we are getting the right name. And then close parentheses. So right away, that's given us a three, which is going to be we're looking at the name Bennett. So Bennett and the second column we have the value three now what we're going to want to do though is we want to make this functional to where if they select the round that that number will change to the respective round so to use that to do that we're going to do the first introduce you now to the match function match lookup value we're going to have it as c4 Close that, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do the lookup array. The array that I'm going to select is going to be on the raw data tab, but I'm only going to select the header row. And we're going to do a comma. And we want, again, the exact match. Close parentheses. So this is telling us and the second column of that table is where round one is. Now, if we were to change this to round two, that should turn into a three. And if I'll select round three, it should change to a four, indicating that it's the fourth column in the table. So we, what we're going to do here instead, we're going to plug this data right here because this returns the, the column index number. And we're going to get that information and we're going to plug it into where this two is right here. So let's just go on and get that set up here. Just going to copy and paste it. Remove the two. And so the column index number, we'll leave it as match C4, which is going to be the round selection and hit OK. So now users will, users will have the ability to select the name and the round. So round three, this person should have been scored a four. So Bennett, round three, round three was scored a four. Now, if we were to select James, round two, we should get a one back. So let's try that out. Select agent name. We're going to select James. And then we said we're going to look at round two. 
and the score is a 1. That concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.